Online Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads from over 200 countries and your number one source in after show entertainment. Three, two, TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hello, America's Next Top Model fans. I am Amanda Fields Bennett, and with me today is Francisco Thurston. Hi, everybody. And we are interviewing the beautiful Ivy Timlin from America's Next Top Model Cycle 21. Hello, Ivy. Hi, thanks for having me. Of course. We're of course. very excited to talk to you today, and I'm sure our listeners are excited to know how did you feel making it on to America's Next Top Model? Oh, I was so thrilled. The semifinals were completely exhausting. So when I finally heard my name that I was going to into that fabulous house, I was beyond excited. I was just so relieved. That sounds so good. And what was your first instinct about the house and how did you feel in the house and what was that like moving in with all the other models? The house is amazing. It's funny because there was two bedrooms, and I just knew from last year that they had boys in one and girls in one in the other room. But this year, I guess our cast, my castmates are a little different, and everyone just like decided to share beds and everything. And I was kind of like, wait, I thought we had two boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the most interesting aspect. <laughs> so there was definitely some cuddling and canoodling going on in that house. <laughs> Yes, there was. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was, I mean, you had modeling pre experience previous to this, yeah? Yes, I did. So was that kind of beneficial for you going into the house? You know, did you pull from that when you were, you know, because it's an entirely different kind of competition and it's so fast paced and everything's happening so quickly. So did you kind of use your background and your experience to your, you know, once you got in the house? Yeah, I mean, it definitely helped me because... You know, I knew the basics of modeling and everything, so I was already at, like, a little bit of an advantage. But I think from modeling before also, though, I kind of knew my own insecurities, so I think I was also nervous because I already knew what I was bad at and what I was good at. Right. Speaking of insecurities, did Romeo kind of throw you off of your game when he kind of was like, you know what, you're my biggest competition in, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he... I was a little flattered, to be honest. <laughs> um, I definitely needed that, needed the compliment that he gave me. But I was also scared because what he said, you know, he was talking about, like, how I'm nervous on my runway walk. And it was completely true. And it kind of scared me that people, like, recognized that I was insecure about that. Well, it's interesting to hear you talk about your insecurities because I'm sure that most people watching the show would never see that in you because you're so beautiful and you know how to pose <laughs> and you look so great in your photos. I mean, first of all, we were really shocked watching the show last night that you were the first one to get eliminated from yeah. the house. We, we thought that was really wrong. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you. That means a lot. <laughs> I, I mean, all, all along, I was like, Ivy's going to do really well. I can see her going on through the season. Yes. I mean, I Amanda was, was a, is a big, she was like, I love Ivy. I'm an Ivy fan, let me tell you. And I was hoping, <laughs> I was just hoping, I was like, let her make it to the makeover week because I was thinking, you know, I hope they give her kind of an, a Linda Evangelista kind of vibe. Like, I was thinking like a short little bob mm -hmm. with like brunette hair. I don't know, I can just imagine you with a lot of different looks, and I think you photograph beautifully. Um, do you plan on spending any time in New York in the future? Because I think you would do really well there. Oh, well, thank you. And, uh, yeah, I definitely want to go to New York. Uh, I'm very close there, too. I'm from Buffalo, New York, so the city's not too far. Oh, um, nice. I definitely have plans right now. I'm just working on test shoots and building up a portfolio and they definitely plan on visiting agencies there and we just pulled up a beautiful photo from last night's episode the water challenge first of all even with your experience as a model had you ever experienced anything like this with the water being poured <laughs> on you no i definitely haven't we did this as before like the whole uh the ice bucket challenge and everything 
Um, and when I was in the water, it honestly felt like when you're like crying hysterically and you're all of a sudden trying to catch your breath and you just keep like gasping for <laughs> air. So that's what I felt like. So that was something I've never quite experienced. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was like, I know that these models, some of them come in with experience, but when you get into these like crazy challenges that America's Next Top Model throws at you, it's like, can you pull from that, you know, background and experience? Because this is like something that you've never done before. So that's what I was wondering. I was like, do they know what they're getting into? <laughs> no, I honestly, like I thought that like all the experience you think you've had once you're standing in front of there and all the cameras are on you and you sigh screaming, everything kind of just like escapes your head. You just kind of go blank. <laughs> yeah. And I was also wondering, you sigh said something about, I'm, I'm confused why you don't know you got a six in your challenge. Do you really know why you got a six? Because I thought you handled the runway pretty, pretty well. And I was confused as to why they, commented on your look rather than, you know, your runway challenge. Yeah. I mean, I still, I still stick by my answer that I really don't know why I got that low yeah. before. Um, I was b boring before Miss J said on the runway, so this time I tried, like, spicing it up a little, and that's not something I usually do, so I was trying to go out of my comfort zone. So I'm still kind of shocked by that six. Yeah, me too. I was a little bit confused by well, that. Well, I would say for sure it's out of every... <laughs> every person in every model's comfort zone to have silly string sprayed on you while you're walking down the <laughs> runway. And um, we talked to Adam also about the challenge last night. You guys apparently didn't know that people were going to be spraying you as you walked down the runway until it happened. Is that yeah, true? Yeah, exactly. And it was, it, like, you walked down, it, like, weighed you us down, too. It was a lot of silly string. Yeah, it looks crazy. <laughs> and I was curious, where <laughs> was that place that you were modeling in? Because it looked like a warehouse. Uh, yeah, I mean, whenever we drove somewhere, I did not look outside at all. So <laughs> a warehouse sounds pretty much like what it was. I didn't know <laughs> who where it was. Okay. Okay. It kind of reminded me of the location in Zoolander where they did the derelict fashion show at the end of the movie. Anyway, that's my own little personal, <laughs> personal view of it. But I thought it, I mean, this kind of challenge is one of those things about America's Next Top Model that I'm not so sure I'm a fan of because I feel like if you're going to have a runway challenge, at least be able to have something that you're showing off besides Silly, silly string, string. <laughs> like our bodies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, come on, like at least incorporate like a swimsuit brand or um, some kind of clothes so that they they can judge you on how you show the clothes and how you make the clothes move and how you walk in heels and I don't know, it's kind of a strange thing to to be judging on. I thought. What did you think? The heels. Yeah, well, the heels is a good point because I was actually a little thrilled, though, when I heard that we didn't have to wear heels because that just makes it so much easier for me. So, I mean, I agree with you with, like, the clothes and everything, but at the same time, it could have been a mess if I had heels on. <laughs> Especially runway, because, so. I mean, I would imagine that stage was pretty slippery. Yeah, it was, and with the silly string especially, like, it would just squish between your feet and everything like that. Sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, um, so as Tyra said last night, you will be able to continue doing all the shoots and doing the fashion shows throughout the uh, episodes. So, um, I know you can't talk about future challenges yet, but I'm curious to know, now you have this beautiful pixie haircut I saw on your Instagram. I'm a big fan of it. It looks beautiful on you. Was that from the show? Oh, thank you. Uh, yes, um, I do get a makeover as well because I'm still um, still in the running to come back. So I do get a haircut and everything like that. Um, and so then that, from the other photos, as you'll see as the show goes on, you'll be able to see my pixie cut. And we just brought up a picture of you on the um, carpet at the Top Model premiere party. You look so beautiful, and oh. I love your <laughs> outfit, how you have that little, like, bikini kind of top with the skirt. It's very <laughs> sexy. How awesome is the chance? Well, thank you. How awesome is the chance to, I mean, because previous cycles, when you get eliminated, you go home. And now, the past couple of seasons, you get to still do the photo shoots you get to experience all of it you get the makeover you don't go home completely like how awesome is that 
Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I honestly would probably have, it would have been a hundred times worse. I would have literally just sat there and bawled if I knew that I had to go home, yeah. like right then. First of all, I don't know what I would do just showing up like at my house. I would probably start crying then being the first oh. eliminated. So it's wonderful that we get the opportunity to continue and stay there with everyone. Yeah. Now, Ivy, does it kind of take the pressure off of you doing the photo shoots when you know you don't have to necessarily be judged week to week? Uh, for me, it definitely helps because the pressure I don't necessarily need. I don't need like, to be worried about what they're going to say with me because I'm already like stressing enough. So it definitely allows me to focus on my modeling. We know that you get to do all the rest of the photo shoots, and I, I haven't seen the pictures online with the social media vote, but what was your favorite shoot so I can maybe look toward, towards it towards the future? Well, we do have a shoot um, where we have wings on, uh -huh. and pretty much, so I'm pretty much like almost naked kind of, but with wings, and that was so fun to shoot and I love the way all the pictures came out so that one's definitely my favorite That's a look. I was taking a little peek at that last night online and I really love those pictures I think most of the models really look great in it um, I love it it's like the black wings right with the branches yes that's it mm -hmm. oh, I okay. love it I'm excited. I, love I don't so have to much. look out for that. I know. I love everyone's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was trying to, like, wait and just see it on TV, which challenge goes with which photo, but I got too uh, excited and I had to look it up. <laughs> <laughs> so you grew up in Buffalo, New York, and did you ever... How, how did that come about in your childhood? When was it that you knew that you wanted to be a model? I probably knew. Well, I kind of had wanted to act when I was younger, but then when I was a freshman in high school, that's when I really started to model. And I talked to agencies when I was younger. Um, I actually did have a pixie cut back then. So that was about the age. So not too, not too young, but. So you always wanted to be adventurous with your look. Yeah, and I have no clue why. I don't know. I think more I'm just kind of make really like fast decisions and I don't think them through. I think that's why I first <laughs> cut my hair off. I have no clue why I did that. <laughs> well, it, it really suits your face. I think you have such cute um, features and, you know, as they say, when you have like smaller features, like a delicate little nose and smaller mouth, <laughs> pick, the short hair really brings that out. Yeah, and I have long, thick hair when it's long, so it does kind of like overwhelm my face. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you mean because not to get mm -hmm. too personal, but in my experience as a model, I started out and the first thing they wanted to do was cut my hair short. So I was like, ooh, I feel it, I feel it. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So you, did you go back, are you in Buffalo right now? Yeah, I was actually, I uh, was in um, Connecticut for the summer, but I just got home today to Buffalo. Oh, wow, you just got back. Okay, so how, did, how are your family and friends reacting to the show and you being a part of America's Next Top Model? It was so nice that everyone from, even people who I never really talked to that much, were sending me text messages and really supporting me. So it's really nice to have all that, like, love and support. And what do you think was the biggest thing that you took away from the show? What's the thing that you learned that you want to share with people? Um, well, yeah, because before the show, I never, I mean, you always just look at the show and see the models and you just take it for what it is. But as a model, having been on the show, I can really say that it really improved my confidence. And I think, like, I, I would definitely say thank you to the show for doing that for me because they just made me feel more confident and more, you know, ready to go and achieve, like, wonderful things. Oh, that's so positive. Yes. I love hearing that from you because, you know, people have, like, a, a mixed experience being on the show, and I love that you had such a positive one. Um, also... Mm -hmm. What do you see yourself doing in the future? Do you have any plans? I mean, you talked a little bit about going to New York City. What about, you said you like to be an actress, so do you want to continue that as well? Yeah, see, that's, I, like, it's more out in L.A. I kind of want to go to L.A., but then I want to go to New York. I'm really kind of stuck in between, but you can be once, um, <laughs> I'm going to find a manager and everything, so I'm yeah, get some help and have guidance. Well, I think, um... I think New York is a great place for you. However, 
LA might be a good place to start because it's a little bit of a smaller market yes. as far as there's less yeah. models <laughs> here. So you might have more of a chance to build your book and then go to New York. That's just my personal. Yeah, that, sounds, that sounds very good. You should be thing. my manager. Oh, yes. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think, I think you have a really great, um, strong face. And I think you would be so great in so many fashion shows. New York Fashion Week is this week. So maybe next season mm -hmm. in February, we could see you there. Yeah, that would be wonderful. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> okay, great. Well, I am so grateful that you could talk to us today. Yes. Where can people find you online? Um, I am online a lot. I have, I'm pretty much always on the computer. <laughs> so I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and it's all just my first and last name, Ivy Timlin. Ivy T-I-M-L-I-N. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ivy Timlin, but not timid. <laughs> <laughs> Brave and beautiful. Yeah. Yes, Ivy Timlin um, on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. Go and follow her. Do you have a blog or a website people can look at? Um, I do have a Tumblr. Ooh, a Tumblr. Okay, is it your same name as well? Um, no, it's you will make it XO. <laughs> you will make it. Yes, I love that. You will make Don't it XO. Saying that out loud, but <laughs> no, it's awesome. Make it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Well, Ivy, you're, you're beautiful and smart and very sweet, and I think you have a great future ahead of you. We can't wait to hear more and more from you, and when you're in L.A., come by and see us. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much for all the compliments, too. Oh, of course. Well, we really feel that way about They're you, honest. so it's true. It's true. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Thank you for talking today, and everybody listening out there, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week. Yes, bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz see you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.